Hey folks, this is Bill with Dine Drink Vegas. It is a Monday morning in July of 2023. I am here at the Mandalay Bay Pool Complex. It has just opened. And let's take a quick look around. So if you want to get a cabana or a day bed, which is absolutely something I would look at, they get pretty pricey. Here on yesterday on a Sunday, those were 500 bucks. Now you can get towels, right? That comes included with your room fee. Um, anybody at the Mandalay Bay, the Delano, or at the Four Seasons is able to come here. They've got an outdoor grill area, which is not one of your more fancy restaurants, but I think it would be a really nice place to sit and eat if it wasn't going to be 117 degrees today. Obviously, anything that you forgot, they are happy to sell you. I've heard good things about the restaurant over there to my left. Again, I've never done it because I tend to come here in the summer. It's really hot. I don't feel like eating outside most of the time. When I've been here before, I tend to either be in the water or in a shaded spot somewhere. Speaking of shaded spot, adjacent to this is the Morea Beach Club. It's going to be over on my left, but I'm not gonna go in there because parts of that wind up being optional, so that's obviously inappropriate. One of the things which is really cool about the pool area here is that they use real sand. Now, that'll take you a while to clean off, but that really enhances the effect of it, and it feels like you're out on a beach somewhere. They've got the roped off areas, the tidal pool there actually gets some pretty big waves. It's not like you could surf on them or anything like that, but it's fun to just jump and play. I did that a couple of years ago, a dude in my late 40s. It was fun. Lots of kids out doing it, lots of adults, lots of whoever. Just let yourself relax and enjoy it for a little while. So what I want to do right now is walk you back over to where the Lazy River is. By the way, as I'm walking here, folks, it would help this channel a lot if you would leave a comment down below. Um, Tell us what you think about this pool, what it is you like to do when you're in Vegas. Because when you leave that comment, it helps YouTube show our videos to more people, which is something that we would love to do. Also, you can click like and subscribe, and that helps a lot. Obviously, as you go back here, there are several restrooms scattered about. There are any number of beer tents, people happy to sell you things. Now, the grill is not actually attached to the pool. That is part of the main Mandalay bed. One of the things I would recommend, you absolutely don't want to come here barefoot because the best places, ways to get places are going to be by walking on the sidewalk and it's going to heat up and it's going to be hotter than fire for a good chunk of the day. The Lazy River is my left, I'll go do it. But here is a smaller family friendly pool area, the West Lagoon Pool. Now, it's not crowded now because I literally walked in here at eight o'clock. It will get much more crowded later on. And you can see what some of the little gazebos look like. They have different kinds of gazebos, day bed areas. You can spend as much money as you want to have a relaxing beach day. And while it is a lot of money, it could be many hundreds of dollars as you saw at that time back there. It also, I mean, think about it as your entertainment expenses for the day, you're gonna lose money a lot more slowly than if you were actually at the casino. There's another towel hut back there. And this Lacey River, y'all, is fun. They've got inner tubes all around that you can just pick up and you just go in and you float around. I would recommend doing it with a margarita, but you do you. Now, I would, in the heat of the summer, get here earlier because it's cooler, it's more pleasant. Um, while a refreshing swim when it's 117 sounds like fun, it's so hot. Again, I do it right about now. But yeah, come out here, just relax and have some fun. So if I was gonna do a beach day, I don't think I'd do it under just one of the chairs, right? That's, it gets crowded, it's hot, you're open. I would either spend my time in the water or I would get one of the cabanas. I'll go over and look at the last set of cabanas here in just this, actually, yeah, let's go this way. Cause I'm trying to avoid cutting through as few people in their vacations as I possibly can. Now, because you have sand everywhere, they make it really easy, hey man, they make it really easy to shower and knock all the sand off of you, which obviously you're gonna to wanna to do before you walk back into the hotel. So walking around, as you get here later on, you can see a DJ stand over there. At later points in the afternoon, there will absolutely be music playing, and that will be a fun part of the day. We rented a cabana up there a couple of years ago. That was a fun part of the day. And if you do that, if you rent a cabana in the Morea Beach Club, not all of which is optional, right? But if you do that, then you can absolutely come down here and use the rest of the pool.
They have a tiki bar. Again, it's 8 in the morning, so not everything is open up just yet. But the last thing I want to do is go look at the cabanas so you can get a sense of what those are like and what they have to offer. Um, again, in the heat of a Vegas summer, I think you're absolutely going to want that shade. The beach bar and grill gets busy, but I've never, I've been here several times, I've never seen it full. It's not the sort of place you need to make reservations. It's the sort of place you go when you simply want a hamburger or, you know, some sort of light casual beach fare. So yeah, you can see several of the cabanas over here. I don't want to get too close in anybody's private space. But yeah, it looks like there's some that are just open here. The beach bungalows look like that. So again, it is a Monday morning in July of 2023. This is Bill with Dine Drink Vegas. What we try real hard to do on this channel is give you short and focused videos to answer your questions about where to go and what to do when you're in Vegas. We would really appreciate it if you would support the channel by clicking like and subscribe. And again, it helps us a lot when you leave comments down below. We'd love to hear from y'all. We answer them as quickly as we can. And that helps YouTube show our videos to more people. Thanks so much and happy travels.